And good evening and welcome to our first Facebook training uh, for App Wizard Studio Wednesday Night Training presented by the App Wizard Studio team. We are live inside of the Facebook group. And uh, this is where we're gonna be holding our trainings from now. Now, as soon as this training is over, we will be uh, taking this video and we will place it into uh, the YouTube channel. So, uh, and it takes usually about 30, 45 minutes, uh, depending on the size of the video to upload it into the YouTube channel. But we will be coming to you live right here inside of the Facebook group. We want to be able to engage as many people as we possibly can to do the things that we do. So once again, welcome to our App Wizard Studio training live right here in the Facebook group. Uh, real quick, just a couple of quick things. In fact, let me go ahead and do this. Let me go ahead and do this. And there we are. We are live and in color. So we're going to be talking about the home page tab tonight. And what I'm going to do is, and you guys are going to kind of see me turn away here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go straight to the screen. And uh, we let me remove that home page tab button right there. And we're going to be talking about the home page tab. And uh, we're going to go ahead and create a quick app. Real quick, okay, just, let me go oh ahead man, let me, uh, let me go ahead. Ooh, turn that down. And we're gonna come in here and we're gonna create, we're gonna create a brand new app from scratch, and then we're gonna start building this out and doing some different things. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna create from a template. We're gonna use this generic template right here. We're gonna call this uh, Facebook group training. And we're gonna be using this same app for a while, so. And always remember, uh, get this every now and then, you will forget to put a lowercase letter into the app URL. It has to be lowercase. And there cannot be any spaces. I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to get let me move this over here. I'm going to pull off. Give me one second here. I am going to get an actual company that I just built an app for. Let me find it. I think this is it right here. Oh, give me one second here. Here, here we go. We're going to use this app right here. These colors turned off really good, so we're going to place the uh, logo in there, and we're going to come back and we're going to put the icon in there and we're not going to fill all this information out here i'm just going to put some general information in here so that what we can go ahead and build out the app but i wanted to put the logo in here because i want to show you guys how to color pick and that kind of stuff here in just a little bit probably in a couple of weeks uh, we're going to start in the back side of the of the panel so let me go in here 
Facebook, group trading. And we're just going to say 555. Five, 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 one, two, one, two. And we're going to put this same number in all of these right here, just so we will have the information inside the platform. Website. At wizard.studio. Uh, Monday through Friday. Nine AM to five PM. And we'll go down right here. Yeah, uh, support at app wizard studio .com. And we've got all our information here. Now I'm going to put my Facebook page in. And I've said this a few times. What I always do is I come in and I will, uh, I will, um, Copy and paste this information. From an email. As y'all can see, I still can't type. And you know, this is the reason I cut and paste. Because if you if you can't type like I can't. All right. Now we've got all our information in here and we got everything pulled up. We got our uh, images in here. The great thing about going ahead and putting your images in, you don't have to worry about that when you build the app. So let's come down here. We're going to give the client no access. Of course, you can give them messaging center and limited access. I mean, you can come in here and select what access they have, or you can give them full access of every single thing. But we're just going to select no access. Some people say, well, why would you not give it to them if you don't want them to uh, mess with your stuff? That's one reason. So we're going to come on over here. Now we're going to go into the app. And as we said, we are going to come in and we're going to talk about the homepage tab. Now the homepage tab, you can see I've got the app completely built out there. There's the Twitter logo, the Facebook logo. Uh, the click to calls done, the emails done, everything's done. Everything is placed on the app right inside the template. Now, I've only been going for eight minutes and about two minutes of that was the introduction. So you can see I built that app in about six minutes. And so we're going to come over here, but I want to go in and I want to I'm going to walk through the individual tabs in all of the uh, App Wizard Studio platform. You're going to be able to search this in the Facebook page. And the same data that's in the Facebook page will be placed in the YouTube channel. So you'll be able to search home homepage tab and it'll, it'll, it'll pull that up. You're going to be able to search the different tabs and see the different information. So you have homepage tab. This is the homepage tab. What is the homepage for? It's to control everything on the homepage. So we're going to go to homepage. Does everybody see this right here where it says images? This is where you can put an image and connect it to, let's just connect it to uh, contact us. We're going to upload an image. I'm going to put the same image in there just to show you guys where it goes and what it looks like. I'm going to add that. And do you see that the image comes right here and it takes up this entire space? Now, I'm going to sh show you something real quick. You can come in here and you can click on that. See, that's a clickable link. I, I add it, attach that to a uh, uh, to a link, 
Now you can see what that does is, is that pushes everything down, okay, everything down right here. So I recommend the, the width on this is 1080, and you can go the height, whatever you want to go the height, but make the width of this 1080 by whatever height you want it to be, all right? Let's come over here. I'm going to remove that image. You can see it removes it. Let's go ahead and save it. Then we've got text and HTML. Now, also, this is where you will put a video. If you want to put a video right here, you just take the uh, embed code from YouTube, place that into the source code, hit OK, and that will place a video. You can also insert text right here. Good evening. And this works just like any other WYSIWYG editor. You've got center. I can come in here and I can change the size of the font. And you can put text right here above your button bar. If you want to make that a link, if you want to insert a link there, uh, maybe you want to say, uh, you know, check out our inventory or something like that and put a link. You can also. Put an image in there. And I want to put the same image just to show you. Now, let me show you something that's different about using this image right here and putting an image in up here. This puts the image in, but here you and you can't adjust it. Here, I can adjust this image to whatever size I need. So if I want to put a, a, a tab button or something here and I want to put a call to action up here, maybe I want to bold this. If I want to make this image a link, all I need to do is highlight that image and hit link and I can do the same thing. I like this a lot better than this up here. And I'm going to tell you why, because I can adjust this image to whatever size I want it to be. And I can still link it. I can still do with it whatever I want to do. I can remove that. Now, you want to make sure that when you remove text, that you backspace it several times to clear up. Make sure you clear all the HTML out of there. That's very, very, very important. All right. Now we're going to come down to links. I was just had a conversation this week. How do you move these around? How do you change this information? You can literally come in and change this information here. Share our. You can type it in and you can see right here, it changes it on the fly. You can remove it. If you want to change the icon, you can change the icon. Then your contact us information. Now, if you want to turn these off, you can turn these off. For example, if I don't want that button on, I just simply say no. If I wanted to turn email on and you can see that it's turned off because it's up here. I can turn that on. Now let's say that I didn't, I'm going to remove the email from up here and I want to use this as a, as a button. I can just slide this up all the way to the top. If you see the arrow on the left, you can slide this all the way up to the top. I'm going to turn that off. Social media links. If I do not want those turned on, I can turn them off. You can see that removes them completely. If you want to add an, a landing page, for example, if I wanted to put the Jordar list page on the app, I could simply do that. And you can see it puts the information right here and you've turned this into a landing page. Now, if I want this above everything, I can come in and I can drop that in and you can see it puts the information at the top. And then you could maybe you could come in and put some images and stuff like that right here. All right. So you can you can turn this into an actual landing page where you collect information and data. Turn that off. And everything goes back the same. When you turn something on and turn it off, everything goes back the same. 
And then your panorama image, if you shoot a panorama image with your phone, you can upload that image into, uh, I don't have a panorama image, so I, I can't show it to you, plus this isn't a phone, but you can upload a panoram, panoram, panoramic image and you can do your phone, you can turn your phone and the image will turn. But you, it has to be an image that's already panoramic and you can, if your phone is, shoots panoramic images, which most phones do, uh, you can do that from, from your phone. Just simply hit save when you make any changes. That's extremely important. If you go in and you find out that nothing's, nothing has been saved, then uh, you will. Uh, all you have to do is go back and hit the save button. Nine out of ten times, it doesn't change it. All right? Nothing's changed. And the next thing we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about the HTML text pages tab. All right? This is this tab right here. We're going to come into view. You can put anything in here you want, all right? Uh, if you want to put a video in, in here, just simply come over here to source code, embed your video right here. Just drop your embed code. If you want to put text in here, let me drop this text in here. If you're interested in using StreamYard, you can use this. Okay, and I can come in here and I go, let me bold that. Let me change the font size to 18. And uh, if I want to put an image underneath there, and I'm just going to use, continue using the same in, images I'm using. I can put an image in there and I can drop that in there. All right. And uh, if I want to link that image to something, or if I want to link this right here, I could come in here, I could highlight this. I could go to link. <coughs> and then I could actually put a link right here. Now, text to display. I could come in here, right here, and I could say, uh, click here for StreamYard. Do I want to go to an outside page or a new window? We're just going to keep it keep it right inside the app. And there you see it says click here for StreamYard. It created a link. I can come in here and I can make that bigger. If I want to link this image right here, I can link this image. Same thing. Just click on insert a link. And you could maybe you could put right here, you know, click the image for or whatever you want to do. And now you've created a page. Let me go ahead and show you what this would look like. This is a page. It will automatically create a tab. I'm going to hit save. This is a page. You can click on that. There's your image and there's your link. You can put HTML in this page. If you if you if you know how to write code or if you understand now, this is the one thing that will not work. And everybody needs to understand this. This will not work. You need to you have to come in and you have to put raw HTML in here. OK, for example, this HTML is created by the system. <clears throat> but if you're going to write HTML, you can't go into a Web page and just go in and copy HTML because sometimes there's PHP, there's other things that are attached to the code in the uh, in the HTML that's on a web page. And if that's the case and you copy and paste it in there, it's not gonna work and uh, probably about seven out of 10 times, it's going to crash your app, all right? And this is very easy to do. Just come in and create, if you want to create a text page, or if you want to put in your own HTML and you write HTML and you have the code and it's going to pull images from other places and you know how to do that, just simply come up right here if you want uh, to the source code. If you want to upload an image, simply go here. Of course, you can change the font. This is a simple WYSIWYG editor. And just hit save and it's done. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take all this off. All right. And now I'm back to a blank slate, right? And once again, clear all of your stuff out of here. All right, now I'm back to a blank slate. All right, now I'm gonna remove this tab. 
Yes, I'm going to remove it. And you can see when I reload the app that it's all completely done. Now we're going to go to the links to web pages and phone numbers. When you create your click to call in your in the in the initial stage of the app, it creates this call button right here. Okay? This is the call button. Now, if you need to come in and change the phone number, now this is extremely important to understand. This is one of the biggest mistakes that people make when changing the phone number. I'm going to put that to 13 and I'm going to hit save. Now, when I did that, it did save the phone number. Everything was saved in the system. But what we have to do is we have to come over here to the header and we have to refresh the button. The quickest way to do that is just come over here to tab bar, go to call us, and just simply just shift it and take it back to where it was. Just click on a different link and then take it right back where it is. And that's now the number will be properly placed into the call button and hit save. We're going to go back to content. If we want to add a new link, we can we can select three different types of links. We can link to a website. Just put your website URL right here. We can uh, add another phone number if we wish, and we can add a text number if we wish. So if you want someone to text and you want to place that on the phone, then simply add text mobile number, add the number here, and uh, just hit save. So there's three different things you can do under links to web pages and phone numbers. You can add, to, add the number, which the first number, if you're using the template system, will automatically be placed in there. You can link to a website. You can link to a call, uh, another phone number, and you can link to a text mobile number. And just simply hit save. And then you are done with that. Any questions at all? If you have any questions, if you're watching this after the fact, please drop a question in the uh, comment section below. We're going to be doing these trainings each and every Wednesday night just like this. Uh, next week, we are going to go into V cards, social media, join our list, and email us form. So next week, we will go into V cards social media links, join our list, and the email us form. The join our list is for what? It's for setting up your marketing platform, your SMS text platform, and uh, we, will, we will do that next week. I want to thank everybody for coming out. I want to thank everybody for being here for our Wednesday night training and being a part of what we do here at App Wizard Studio. Uh, we look forward to seeing you next Wednesday. Everybody have a great night. Good night. God bless. I will be uploading this into YouTube immediately following this training. We will see you next Wednesday night right here in the Facebook group.